Did you know that Marlin from Finding Nemo is actually a female? What? The director of the movie, Andrew Stanton, actually said that his goal was to make the movie scientifically accurate with a fish in the ocean. So I saw a video by Film Theory, and this theory is going to blow your mind. Let's hear it. The science behind clownfish is when the mom of the colony dies, the dominant male has to take over and become a female. The process takes two years to physically change, but mentally, the male fish automatically turns into a female right away. And get this, since the dominant male Marlin had it turn into a female, one of his offspring have to take the place of the male dominant role. And the only offspring that survived is Nemo. So the theory is scientifically that means that Nemo and Marlin will have to mate together since the new dominant male and female instinctively have to repopulate their colony. So Nemo and Marlin have to... Yes. So we see Marlin kind of mentally change throughout the movie, becoming more protective of Nemo and even Nemo surprised how brave Marlin is getting. As we see, Nemo's mom is way more protective and she dies in the process of protecting her eggs, whereas Marlin's really scared. And Finding Dory ends at the two-year mark, so the next movie, Marlin should be a female.